We are here. We are back. Let's have it. Let's see what happened week two. Penn State barely beats Bowling Green. Missouri beats uh, Buffalo. Auburn survives Cal. Michigan meets Texas. Houston beats Oklahoma. Brent Venables, he's on the hot seat, man. I'll tell you that. And then we'll go down to house. Tennessee lost to NC State. Utah kills Baylor. All right, this week looks a little bit soft right now, other than Alabama, Wisconsin. Let's get to that recruiting. All right, let's get to that recruiting. All right, Seiko. We're in his top two. Let's get you a visit.
I don't get the soft sell on the hard sell. If someone knows that, you let me know. Boy, I still haven't offered you a scholarship. It's a scholarly for you. Battle in Temple right now. Schedule a visit. Ethan Ricard, he's in the bank. He is in the bank. Like, he's in the bank. There's no way we can mess this up, right? Darren Spears. Wolf. How's Hoddle doing? Oh man, we're killing it with Hoddle. We're killing it. Awards a moderate amount of influence when choosing correct ideal pitch with penalty for being wrong. Okay. the game. Looking good though. Oh, I backed out of nowhere. 
Uh, I didn't mean to back out. Hey, in NCAA 14, when I was a coordinator, I didn't recruit at all. Because I was like, I'm not going to be here. You never know. I might take over for him. So you got to recruit. Bar Beaver's already a lock. He's basically a lock. Oh no no no! Wait, hold up. I'm I'm UMass. I forgot. Hold up. Sorry. I got excited. I got excited. I thought that was uh. I thought we were UConn for a second. Just woke up from a nap. I'll be honest with you. Probably tell. What's up with that scholarship, my boy? Five minutes left. out again Apple Cup still going on? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Wow. Oregon and Oregon State still going on as well. Offensive line, defensive line, and quarterback. We got to make sure we're dominating those. We have to specialize in that. That's how you build a program. I'm ready. UMass, Buffalo, game three. Oh, I forgot. Foma Chan is no longer my starter. It's going to be Hasten. It's going to be the rest of your freshmen.
Go spread option. Oh, white. Let's go. I do like Ohio State's playbook, but I'm going to stick with this one. See what it's up. Stick with the generic ones for now. Welcome to Buffalo, New York, and UB Stadium, home of the Buffalo Bulls, where the fans know that no one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bulls. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. As we'll see, the UMass Minutemen taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Buffalo Bulls. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis. David. Here we go. We on offense. Here we go. Okay, ready? The young freshman in. The give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth, fifth, late in the ball game. They tend to turn into bigger runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. They're going to test the right side. But ah. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Back open in the middle. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. UMass will line up to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Looking for a ball. Oh, they scored. They scored. All right, let's get back in this. I have to remember, A is to keep it. He'll keep it himself. Got the first there we go. So you could have some balance and then you give it to your quarterback Palmer and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. You know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, some way ah. establish a semblance. I, I, I'm so you, I'm so used to it not being like that, you know, like I used to run the option all the time back in the days, but it's like they switch it up on me. He's going to pass on second down. Got him. What a pass. What a pass. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, he leads it with the back. Oh, my gosh. Knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker was a... That's going to be so annoying this year, like, just trying to remember that. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. Woo. And what a nice start for this offense. 
the throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass, this quarterback getting a little bit of confidence, this passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Hold up. A's to keep, right? A's to keep. So this is going to be a run if I don't keep it. Oh, my gosh. I keep forgetting. Got him. Oh, he sold me. Oh, he sold me. Oh, my gosh. We got to have those. Understand that quarterback's got to be rushed. Get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. And they'll get him down after the. All right, let's go. I like this playbook. Just keep it simple, you know? They'll run it out of the shotgun. Oh my god. Yo, why are they move? Yo. What a catch. What a catch. What a catch. They've got it down to the 21. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that now. This could be a blitz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A to keep, A to keep, A to keep, A if I want it. I pressed A. Oh, I'm such an idiot, dude. Woo, I was close. That was close. Oh, my God, Texas lost. Texas lost. They just lost. UTSA beat him. We update the nation on this one. UTSA packed a wallop today. This was supposed to be a major road test, and instead it felt like a stroll down the river walk there in San Antonio. 60 minutes of football and a convincing. Of course they scored. Of course they scored. Right? Of course they score. From the gun, the give, looking for room. 
Once I get the hang of it, it's a wrap. It's a run. I should have kept it, bro. I got to get this right, bro. Thank you. Oh, my God. What a shot. It doesn't matter what run play you have called if you're running it inside or outside. If the defense gets penetration, everything is done. And you saw it on that play right there. Great job by the dude. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And that one's oh, my God. They were just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. UMass will line up to punt it away. What a punt. What a punt. Bitch away. Oh, man. He caught it. He caught it. What a snag. Had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Are you going How about that? A Georgia Tech quarterback is leading in passing yards this season. That's interesting. This UMass offense is moving quickly down the field. They'll run it from the gun. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. I got it. I told you, once I get the hang of it, it's a wrap. Okay, okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow 
I meant to keep it, so that's good. All right. Those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Quarterback will audible. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Ah, throw a pick. Intercepted. Got room on the return. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. It's okay, kid. Hang in there. He leaves it with his back. And he has had a long day at the office, not to mention the backfield, as the defense has been all over him. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Gets it out fast. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Well, if you're going to get first downs against this defense, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to make people miss. This is an excellent tackling unit. You saw it on that last play. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And they can't Pass interference, bro. Pass interference, man. struggling so much in the first half you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game oh wow great thing about this is like you're playing teams that are bad so like your mistakes are not magnified here we go they'll run it to the right side he's knocked down in the backfield he'll lose a couple you got to give the defense credit. They knew a big key in this one was slowing this dude down, especially after how well he played the last time out. They have been swarming him. They have been gang tackling him and getting a lot of penetration up front. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. <sighs> trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Makes the catch. It's Brown. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him. Second guy finally did. UMass getting set to snap it on first and ten. Watch out for the blitz. Now, ace the key. Just remember that. Give to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is going out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when we decide to run it. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. UMass quickly back to the line. They'll try to power their way ahead. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. We can run the football. Let's get away from the option until we get to the red zone. You know? They'll go to the ground. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up bunch of yards on first down make that second down really really manageable that's a great job by the offense out of the gun the inside handoff looking for a crease drives ahead for three to the 27 yard line balls at the 27 it's Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Jack 
quarterback checking off. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Firing to the right, complete. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Good job, good job. So much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws that turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that. Got him. What a touchdown. With the six. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle. He's got great vision. And what a touchdown. All of those attributes right there. They'll throw it on first down. They'll run the screen. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. On the screen place, you really want to sell it, get it to your running back, and get him to the second level. Get him running full head of steam on a safety, on a linebacker. He almost got go Balls out. The defense oh, my God. Oh, my God. We were killing it too. Damn. He'll pull it on the read. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. UMass quickly back to the line. On second down, they'll take to the air. Finds a tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Use the play fake now to throw. Trying to escape and get it himself. He scrambled forward and got a few and turned that into a positive play. Defense is all about creating negative plays. And he does a really good job at the quarterback spot of not taking sacks. Like, that's a great job. He wants to throw the football. The clock goes off. He takes off and gets a positive game. We're going to run this ball. Give this defense credit because they I think I'm... I like this playbook. I do. I just think the option is just too weird for me. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. That'll be enough for the first. Good running back. All right, good. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. This UMass offense is moving quickly down the field. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. From the shotgun, the inside give. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun. Give on the inside. Good job, good job. Good job. And I don't care if I get it. We need a touchdown. By 30 by 40. I just I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I gotta make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Nah, actually. I'm not even gonna play games. But if that safety comes down, you beat him. Here's the 
I'll show you what's it coming down. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. How about the job by this defense? They, they knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense. Stopping the run game. Stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Oh, my gosh. You want me to go for it? All right, we'll go for it. Trying to find his man. And that pass kicked off. And that's a back break. On the double. Ooh. Let's be safe here. Oh man. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman getting to the running back cat like quickness? Two minute warning. Maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two minute warning. We've reached a two minute warning and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Oh my gosh. And that sting. He's gonna pass. He's taking a deep shot. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. The incompletion brings up a second down. He's looking to throw. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And oh my gosh. Incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops the throw. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is tough. And now this team has fallen into a three game slide and a season of promise has now had a lot of promises broken. Yeah, this is a team that really needs to take a long, hard look in the mirror right now and make a decision. What are we going to be? What am I about? What am I willing to do at this point of the season to get this thing turned around? A lot of tough and real conversations are going to have to take place. And this is when the coaches really make their money, right? How can I get my kids to focus when I know there's probably not a lot to play for down the road? Uh, so let's, let's win every game. Let's win every battle. Let's spoil other people's seasons on the way out, even though our season didn't pan the way we wanted it. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been... Another presentation of EA Sports College Football. That was uh that was unfortunate, man. Oh man. I need a playbook. I need a playbook, you know?
going to go multiple. 0-3 to start the season. Um... Okay. The defense is doing its thing. The defense is doing its thing. Oh, we finally get an FCS team. <laughs> That's funny. My scheme's gonna be the multiple, it's multiple. Get back to recruiting. The lifeblood of the program. Wow. Sheriff is a, he's an orange, orangeman. Congrats to you. Um, you're a bust, though, so we're not even worried about it. And I got Danny Soliday.
All right. We only get 100 hours. What the hell happened? How's my how's my QB doing? How's my QB doing? Ethan Ricard. Oh, Syracuse kind of getting close though. If successful, this will add your chosen ideal pitch as the school's as the recruits ideal pitch for your school only. I don't get that, but here you go. Let's do Oh, I don't have enough sauce cell. What do you mean? What's up with that? What I gotta do to get commitment here from you guys? You seen the way we played? He's a, he's a kicker, so I'm not going to really, you know, twerk for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a kicker, right? Um, Let's DM him. Why are you going to the Navy?
Ooh. It's a gem. Recruiting is done. This shit's no joke. <laughs> this recruiting's no joke, man. FC South, FCS Southeast Pandas. All right. Let's go. Let's get our first victory. We have to get this victory. We have to get this victory. We have to. Like, we have to. There's no excuses, man. We got to get this victory. Here we go. Here we go. Hands it off. And that's a very productive first down play of bringing up second and three. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Power football with the run. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Ready up. Third down, and they'll need two on this initial drive of the game. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. What a pancake. And he fumbled the ball. He fumbled the ball. <laughs> he fumbled the ball like this team is cursed this team is cursed <laughs> this team is cursed dude this team is cursed I just can't fucking stand it I'm still going to ride you, but, man, like, this team is fucking cursed, man. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, my God. Good blocking. Get off me. Get off me. This guy's hurt. Let's get on the swing. Going up top on first down. Good, 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 good. Whoop! This is the playbook. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Got the first down. <laughs> That's some stick skills, baby. Pew, pew, pew. in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down, you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? You got to find something. The defense. Get him to the edge. Oh. They're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different and give this offense something to think about. 
They'll run play action. Oh my god. Man, that's a great example of <laughs> know your personnel. A QB that doesn't run great trying to get outside the pocket. Nice job by the defense applying pressure and running him down and getting the huge loss. Gaucho, Gaucho. He's going to have to turn one loose downfield. He caught it, but. Oh, that's a line. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. This team's curse. This team's curse. Like, I can't. Like, yo. This is the worst team in the game, man. Yo, get the fucking block, you bum ass. What is wrong with you guys? Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Line getting set on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll give it on the jet sweep, looking for room outside. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. And that's just a great job by the defense shutting down that jet sweep. You see the team speed they have on defense. They are willing and ready and able to go sideline to sideline with anybody in the country. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think oh I didn't get it. Touch short. Man down on the play is sneak this bitch. Let's go. To let him be checked out. They're in their own territory, but they are undeterred. Fourth and inches, and they'll go for it. He'll sneak it and try to surge forward. Looks as if he has enough to move the chains. It'll be a first down, UMass. Man, when I was at Florida, Steve Spurrier would wait for this opportunity in a game fourth and inches, and he'd signal in red Snoopy. Quarterback sneak. It works every time. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. Now they're going to throw it. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Oh, bro, pass interference. How can you not beat him? This is D2. This is D2. It's FCS, but it's D2. Like, come on, man. We got to beat him. He's looking to throw. And that's going to fall to the ground. It's incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. These guys are going to give me a fucking stroke. That's what I'm talking about. Can't do shit this game, huh? Stick. I'm gonna do stick. And we got one up top, one safety to beat. Throw it on first down. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh. They hit me with the blitz. Turbo. On third down, going up top. He throws it back to the left, a risky ball. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. UMass will line up to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And they'll keep it away from the return. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Defense kept me a break. Fast motion from the offense. Out of the gun. The running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that. <laughs> 
offensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right on the way. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. UMass lines up with a first and goal. On the ground. Got it. Into the end zone. Hey, hey, hey. The gritty, the gritty. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tough, 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 tough. Great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. No one's here. <laughs> It's the perfect opportunity to really make a send a message, get into rhythm. Leads it with the back. There we go. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or game tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, have fun with that. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll run it from the gun. They work their way to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of five. The reason why I like to be under center a lot is for the play action. You know, we can. it helps us build up the play. I'm going to do this again. This one worked a lot. No one could card Mazzotti. No one can guard Mazzotti. So, there we go. Got him. Oh my gosh. The offense retain possession. Oh my gosh. Avoid disaster right there. Like you guys want to lose. I have to lose I have to leave this 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 program. Because you guys want to lose. That's unreal, man. Like you guys want to lose. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. He'll come out throwing on first down. Grabbed over the middle. Got him. What a catch. Thank you. Thank you. What a touchdown. Woo. Gritty hey. on them hoes. He ran that from Amherst to Needham. Leaves it with the running back. Got the first down and more. Really good <laughs> search for this offense. They move the chains and he's got it at the 34. Uh, they'll always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up tempo and fast and spread and do all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, the ground game. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. Quickly complete. Great move there. Great job. Great job. This is the playbook, right? It could be the playbook, or is this we're facing some garbage right now? 
but hey, I don't care. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll use the running game on first and goal. They get him on the ground. And let, the, let the clock run. Let the clock. Defense is taking some punches. Listen, the offensive coordinator's best friend in the red zone is the running game. Make guys commit near the line of scrimmage so I can throw behind. This defense is. There we go. Touchdown, Minuteman. Wow, this offense. They have a lot of running back knowing if they get down in this area of the field he can get it done and he can answer the bell two rushing touchdowns already for this offense how you let him score like this offense is so weak as hell man Searching for a hole. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is going to be a ball. Oh, no, hold up. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. On second down, looking again to throw. Oh, he dropped it. I'm playing with the bums. Oh, they give it to they give it to us again, which is crazy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, 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 oh. The hoes calling. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> we lit. We lit now. We lit. We lit. They believe they can run right here. Follows that surge up front. He's got five out to the 13. When you're a defense, you need to stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. Right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Just a pickup of a couple out to the 15-yard line. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Wants to throw on third down. Got it. The outside is complete. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. They've got the screen set up. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Running backs just have to be a weapon in the passing game, even for little dump-offs and checkdowns. Yeah, find your matchups. I mean, you think about running back versus a linebacker. We like that matchup in space, and so find ways to get the football to your running back in space where he can break tackles and make things happen because they're just so dynamic. This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. On third and short, the power run. Mm. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose. Ah, let's punt this. UMass will line up 
to punt it away. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. To start the drive with a pass. Oh my gosh. Great job, defense. Great job, defense. Here we go. <laughs> this has been money. This play right here. So let's try this one. Ooh. Just a little too slippery in the hand. I gotta be honest, I thought this tight end was gonna have a much bigger role in this game. They wanted to get him the football early and often, but after that drop here in the second half, he still doesn't have a catch. They'll try the run. Nice solid form tackle from this sophomore. Third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wide out. Finds a man by himself. And they exploited that soft spot and they get it down to the 35. Let's get to the fourth quarter. I'm playing no games. staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game right we've got a lead late we're going to run the football and the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will that's what this offense right now is trying to do i, I like it just frustrate the defense get that five to six yards make them honor the run make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively on third and short, they keep it on the ground here. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. This UMass offense is moving quickly down the field. They go to the ground. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going. And you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing it. They make the stop, but not before he set them up with a first and goal from the 10. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just keep running the football. Everything is going according to plan right now. They've been able to stay on the field. They've put some nice plays together back to back to back, and they're bleeding the clock. This is exactly what you practice for, for situations like this. Just keep doing what you're doing. Got him. <laughs> Let's go. this game and that's the beauty of college football helping their team get back
They scored. We missed the field goal. This game's not over. Looking for the corner on the jet sweep. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. They play it so hard because when they run jet sweeps, they don't always give them the football. And then you got to worry about other stuff. But great job focusing on your keys, seeing the jet sweep, pulling the trigger, going and getting the speedster on the ground. And they got him for the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, an offense you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Got his man on the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Got to secure this victory. Trust in their quarterback right there, and why not? He's had an outstanding game. The outstanding game has taken care of the football. Now late in the game, you've gotten the lead. That first down now tells me now it's time to start running the football, run the clock, get out of here with the dub. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. And off from the shotgun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure right now on this down if you're on offense because your last two plays have gone nowhere. You know the defense just needs to get the football back to give their team an opportunity to go win the game. So you're probably going to have to throw to get this first down. A lot of pressure here on the quarterback there. Yeah, and, and how I throw I think is important. This is a time where I love moving my quarterback outside the pocket, making it an easy throw or let him run the football. And if he doesn't get it, the clock still ticks. It's still my friend. He'll call for the fair catch. Oh my gosh. How did we how are we making this close? The gear and tick 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 tick. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. He's it up to the 34. Timeout called there by the defense. This is it. This is the game. And save as much time as possible. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. <laughs> oh, man. the ground going for the first down with the gift oh to the gosh. tight end they oh my gosh all over him nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster Number UMass nine, will line up to punt it away fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt good punt no return coming He'll I need to stop guys Yes, got him. Let's secure this W. They'll run the quarterback sneak. Hmm? This is the area of the field where it gets really, really tough. Because the red zone, you know you got to run the football more. Well, this defense is number one in the nation against the run. So I look for this offense to, to be more physical, be creative, try to find ways to run the ball against this defense that is Thank you. so dynamic. What does it say? You want to talk about building confidence, coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. 
Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters, and this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps, they've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays. And I think belief is what you build, that confidence. You know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success, and you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. What a win. What a win. We we suck. We suck, but it's good to get this victory. Georgia Bama. Ooh, boy. Louisville, Notre Dame. Clemson beats NC State. Wow. Trojans beat Michigan. Kansas goes down.
All right. Before we continue, a thought popped into my head. Uh, let me check something out. Be right back. I thought Wisconsin had a good playbook. I need something. Oh, sorry. It wasn't. Let's do this, right? Let's do this, right? Where can I go to? There you go, playbooks. Where does uh, Jim McElwain coach? Central Michigan, right? Oh, wow. You're not in the single back. Why would you not be in a single back? Okay.
I, I like to be in a single back position. Does anybody got like any single back? Let's see. Uh, back 10. Big 10. Big 10. How, how about Jed Fish? Single back. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. Something like this. Hell yeah. All right, we're going Washington playbook. Let's load up. Let's load that bitch up. UMass versus Miami. Miami of Ohio. We're going to be playing Washington offense. Nice and simple. What are they rocking with? They don't got a black uni or something? go here we go let's get game two let's get let's get win two welcome to the house roethlisberger built oxford ohio on the campus of miami university and home to the red hawks and we are looking forward to a fantastic game and a full house for this one we've got a terrific matchup for you today rich in pageantry and tradition and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see, the UMass Minutemen taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Miami, Ohio Red Hawks. 48 Sports College Here we go. Here we go. Minutemen. Let's get on it. receiver shows motion they'll try to outflank him with the jet sweep finally run out of bounds but he has this offense rolling with a first down defenses have got to play with great eye discipline especially when you're facing teams that will run the jet sweep you've got to be able to locate the football extremely quickly and defense did not do a good job of it that time they'll put it in play from the 41 on first down The gift to the back. Get to pass the first down marker and still just like that. Big two gashers. Pow, pow, pow. You love hearing the crowd, but more importantly, you love shutting the crowd up. There's no better feeling than coming out, getting that juice going, getting that confidence going, and getting that running game going right at them and gashing them right out the gates. Right back to the well. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. From the gun, running back on the move. Looks as if he has enough to move the chains. It'll be a first down, UMass. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. It's a certain way I like to play. Looking to move it through the air. Takes the easy throw in the flat. Oh, that's... Come on. That was a violent hit. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the tailback. 
And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. It's complete to the right. Got him. That was generous, though. I can't lie. That was pretty. That cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. To the running back. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, Sit out, sir. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Got him. Woo! UMass lines up with a first and goal. They'll go to the air. Gonna try to pop. Got him. Hey, ooh, ooh, get sturdy with it. Get, ah, ah, let's go. Right down the field, the first drive of the game. And you're methodical, and you take what the defense gives you. You make good decisions. You don't have negative plays. You don't have missed assignments. That shows your head coach that you are locked in and ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. On the set. Clear. Clear. Here's the give off the left side. Got enough for the first. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too Why not I pick the Utah playbook? I just thought about that. He's got his man. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Receivers work tirelessly, tapping that toe along the sideline, and it just looks so natural for him. Yeah, it can't just be pat and go all the time, right? Reese just jogging down the field, ball hits you right in stride. You got to be able to make awkward body catches and do it getting your feet in bounds. That was sweet. We didn't get that. We did not get that. How about that? And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. We did not get that. Focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. It'll be a run on third and short. There we go. He'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Man, this offense continues to do such a great job on third down. One of the best in the country at it, and the reason why, they keep it manageable most of the time. Third and short, they can run the football, be physical, convert. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Just about the time the quarterback got the snap, that dude was in his mustache. Quick, fast, and in a hurry in the backfield. Got him to the ground before he could even think about getting the laces and trying to get the ball out of his hands. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Ball is 
at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. UMass will line up to punt it away. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. Yes! He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or Personal it's going to be foul. difficult to put up the kick. Defense, defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. So the offense keeps this drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. They'll leave it with him. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Oh, my God. He read it. Try to find room outside on the jet sweep. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And to stop the jet sweep, you've got to be great at containing. You have to have players in the perimeter of your defense funnel the football and force it to go back inside. That time, that defense was not allowing that receiver to get outside. The give out of the gun. Pass the first down marker and still running. And he's brought down after a nice game. At the 37-yard line. That's a first down for the offense. Ready up. Over. That's the end of the first down. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. Fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. With jet sweep pass. Fuck's sake, bro. You gotta block that. You gotta block that, bro. The Jukes are filthy, bro. And they're low-key OP. This many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. It's caught downfield. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. This tight end just creates matchup problems no matter how you try to defend it. How about the catch radius on him, too? So as a quarterback, you don't have to be perfect when throwing it to him. You just got to get it somewhere in his vicinity, and he can come up with the catch. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. Wide out in motion. They'll give it to the back. Looks as if he has enough to move the chains. It'll be a first down UMass. Well, it's not a home run, but it's just enough by the running back to move the chains. All the way down to the 25-yard line. It's first and 10. Trying to get to it. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Off 
the bootleg to buy a little space. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. On third and short. Yo, that middle is just... Run that shit back. They cannot defend that middle. So let's run that shit back. There we go. This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. Bro, what the hell? I just put my life and soul into that drive, and you guys just, you just guys let them score again. Like, what's going on, guys? So let's run this ball. But it was still a positive game. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. They'll throw on third and short. Just a short pass to the tight end. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. They didn't get too greedy there. They knew what they needed, and he gets it just past the steps. Yeah, and I'd like to see the defense maybe be a little bit more aggressive, a little more in the face, because QBC's easy access. I'm going to throw the football. My receiver's got a little bit of space. He can get the first down. I'd like to see the defense make him work for a little bit more. Since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most Hold of the up. time, that drag route's going to come over. Let's, let's take a gamble now. Let's take a gamble now. I'm looking at B because he's on fire right now. And let's see what happens. He wants to throw. Deep shot for the end zone. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. That was incomplete. I'm okay with it. If I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm going to keep taking shots down the field. I'm going to make him honor that deep ball. I'll hit some of those before the game's over. Now on second down. Fire. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Damn. And the quarterback is snowed under. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. He hurls one deep down the left side. It's caught! Oh! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call.
Cookie Desiderio. First down. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. They're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there. And still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. One more play before the teams head to the locker room. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. A little excitement there to wrap up the first half, and that'll pad the stats as we go to the break. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Oxford, Ohio. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Jaeger Stadium there on Weed Eubank Way. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin. Second half just about to get started, and UMass will kick it off. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Oh, shit. Got me tight in here. From the gun, the running back has it. He hits that hole. It opened up for him as he gets six and all the way out to the nine-yard line. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Motion from the offense. The give to the back. Finds just a bit of room. He'll pick up a couple to the 11. short they've got them back up inside the 20 and the D can get the ball back here they'll try to move the chains on the ground let's go looks as if he has enough let's go chains. it'll be a first down UMass let's go this is an offense that leads the nation in first downs because there's so many different ways they can attack you they're versatile they could throw it they could run it they've got so much balance and that's what makes them so hard to stop I, I Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it. Got in the backfield, got the big play. Coming after it. Fires to the big fella. One yard. And they pick up just a this, this shit feeling like, a, like the air raid. Oh. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Right 
points like Ben don't break they've given up a bunch of plays on this drive but now that they're getting down close to field goal range you're seeing them start to stiffen up yeah and plays don't matter anymore play action boot play action boot now we in a rhythm now we in a rhythm now off the boot looking for his man bottle little time Woo! X was open X was open Jabril what are you doing what are you doing dude Touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to got him against the pass in this game. At the 20, he's got space. Wow. I just like exactly this game. I just do. I just like this game. Like you guys, I like the game. I just do. UMass getting set to snap it on first and ten. From the gun, running back gets the Okay. I'm feeling the screen. I'm feeling the screen. I'm feeling good with a screen. Let's go. Okay. It's pretty obvious there was a big hole in that screen and the defense ran right through it. And you're trying to get the ball to the running back quick. Honestly pathetic that that performance right there. I need you I need y'all to lock in. Can you lock in? Checking the play on third and long throws toward the end zone. Oh, oh my god! All right, down and they'll try the field goal. And this one only 35 yards out, but not straight away. This one from the left pass. Oh man, and this one splits the upper. I gotta practice that. <laughs> Let's go. Good job. I did not forget the middle of that defense. He fumbled. He fumbled. Fumble going out of bounds. They'll maintain possession. From the 44 yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. They move the tight end all over. He'll keep it himself. And it's loose. Oh, it looks as if I tried to slide. I don't know that there's anything more. <laughs> we in the fourth quarter now. I try to slide. <sighs> Here's the handoff. Got that middle of that defense, man. Y'all gonna lose because that middle of that defense is like I just see candy there. Candy. It's good candy. 31 to 0 is crazy. And Texas about to lose to Mississippi State. It's like Kenday in that middle. In that middle.
Here we go. Yo, why is open? I kind of see it. Oh, he went. Oh, they tried to kill me. They tried to kill. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Oh, my gosh. It's blocked. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The defense comes up big. Oh, my goodness. What a roller coaster of emotions. Oh. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. It, it's just simple. Simple first down run. You're showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. I can't believe that, though. It's like this game wants us to lose this one. Just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. The inside handoff. Oh, yeah. This guy, this guy. Workhorse. Workhorse. Defense, man, you got to go low and you got to chop that tree down, right? Go with the legs, take the legs out from underneath them so he can't continue to churn those puppies out and get extra yards after contact like he did there. Dragged down at the 46 after a pickup of five and the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Good run. Good run. Good run. Oh, hold on. What's up? I right, substitute him. First down. Physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and and right here just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy too is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. And the defense doing a great job. If you can protect me, guys, I think we got a touchdown here. What's a, what's a flag? What's a flag? That's not great. That is not good. They'll line up for a second down play. No, no, keep it, keep it, keep it. To the ground with the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the Can't beat ourselves, man. Big defensive tackles in the middle. They're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. I mean... If you can beat him, Desario, you know, you can beat him. It's caught! Oh! What a catch! Yay, with your mouth open. Get your mouth open. We coming. Emmy's here. What a catch. What a catch. Oh, my gosh. They did not just tie this up, bro. Ridiculous. Out of the gun, the give to the back. 
Just enough there to get it to the get to the two-minute warning. Get to the two-minute warning. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. The clock stops as we have reached the final two minutes of the game. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. And listen, if I'm the quarterback, I'm trying to dump the ball off to my playmaker and make this a manageable third down, get something positive. But how about the defense just reacting so fast, getting to the running back and getting that sucker on the ground in the open field? Going for it all. Oh, my gosh. If we lost this game, I blame this. I'm blaming this on on my um on the defense because like bro I did everything I could. This is not this is not Alabama, bro. Like I can't score 31, and you know. Okay. To 36. What can I do though? Do I I have no timeouts? No timeouts whatsoever, dude. Comes out throwing on first down. Got his man quick. Get out, get out, get out, get out. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Is it for real? I have no timeouts. <sighs> man. Quarterback stands alone, all wide receivers. Quarterback checking off. On second down, he's looking downfield. Good, 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 good. Ten <sighs> seconds to go. This really has been a master class by the quarterback with decision making, right? We've already seen him throw multiple touchdown passes in the game. He's understood when to take his shots and when to throw it away when things aren't there, like on that last play. Always want to have a deep threat just in case. On third and long, he has to throw for it. I'm going deep with this one though. Oh my gosh! 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 Keyshawn Brown for the game! Oh my gosh! Oh! Ha ha ha! And just like that, we get our second W of the season. Tight ball game right at the end. You need the clutch plays. These guys deliver. You can't teach that gene. You have people that, that, that can focus in the moment or they can't. Great job by the team. Ahmad Haston. Understanding it's a close battle. Win those what a quarterback. And then look up and then, heck, I got the win. Yeah, David, they just had ice in their veins. And you can tell there's tremendous leadership on this football team. Guys can step up and in the huddle, they can make sure that everybody else is focused to the task at hand in order to get the double. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Unreal. Unreal. What a game. What a game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my gosh.
I'm gonna take a two minute break just to eat some fruit. I'll be right back. Great win, boys. I'm back. Well, that was a great win. Great win. Great win. Ah, uh, so my seconds a, uh, a husky.
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Northern Illinois is 0-4. How about that? I want to see Utah's playbook. What's Utah's playbook looking like, though? Let's get back in this, baby. All right, let's get into this recruiting. Hold up.
No fucking way. No fucking way. That was unreal. That last game was crazy. Joe Hesse. Guess Danny Solid Day. Micah Bigums. Ethan Rickard. Ah, oh, man. Whoa, how did Syracuse? Hey, yo! Come on, dog. Hell no. Hell no. Let's try Sway. Okay. Well, I don't even have enough time like that. I only got five minutes. Uh, f uh, five hours, I guess. Here we go. I guess Northern Illinois. That's what the Huskies rocking. Yeah, this little all black versus all white fit. Let's go. Let's go, UMass. Let's go. Let's go, UMass. Off play action on first down. Using the quick game. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I just love that theme song, man. I just like this game. I just like this game. Running down the middle. Make that defense physically meet the challenge. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Leaves it with the back. And sure, tackling there. Oh, that was fourth down? That was third down, excuse me. Personal 
So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps its drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Tackle One thing we could do here, we could definitely run the ball. Five yard gain and the first down. You know, you start Damn, clicked the wrong play. Running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. Wait, bro. You need a first down, you run these plays, you rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. And the defense makes a big hit and knocks him down. Sixth play of the drive coming up. When the defense loses you like that, you have to find a way to make sure the quarterback sees you. Man, I guess that's waving your arms. Hey, I'm open. I, I never really understood that because I never feel like you're running as fast, but he got by the defense. Quarterback gets outside the pocket, makes the big completion down the field. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first thing. Might as well give it to him again. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. You gotta have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. Damn, well, you took forever to throw that shit, man. They make the stop. What's wrong with you? Let's lock in, kid. Let's lock in. This is why quarterbacks get the biggest NIL deals because they're supposed to make something out of nothing. You know what? If he took some of that NIL money, Reese, and, and spent it on more linemen, maybe he has more protection and more time to go through his progression. Oh. And that ball is picked off. He'll try to take it back. And they capitalize not only on the pick, it's okay. Quarterback was having success throwing on the opening drive of the game, in large part because it's a lot harder to throw on third down when the defense is expecting it, like you saw right there. They were ready, had a really good coverage call. Great defense, great defense. All right, defense build us out here. Um, from the gun, the running back looking for room. Crosses the 30 to the 31, a six-yard gain. A lot of times it's hard to see those linebackers coming down late and blitzing through a gap. The offense did a really nice job getting a hat on a hat. Blocking. Yo. Time out. Why is John Paradise not playing? the running back pushes ahead for a couple they'll mark it at the 33 i'll tell you this is a running back who's very very dangerous and the defense did a good job getting him down there but you got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs he caught and he intercepts it really nice play on the pick They're looking for a little more yardage but <laughs> All right, guys. Let's 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 zero in now. We got zero in now. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He lobs one high down the left side. Oh. And that will be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter if they could have done it. But second down coming. Oh man, the quarterback almost just threw his second interception on as many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. Oh my gosh! What? I gotta bench you for that. I gotta bench you for that, young kid. 
You got a lot to learn. 16 to 0. Oh, my goodness. What a nightmare start for Machana and now. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Behind Zach Priest, and he's got four out to the 29. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Well, it's first down in the deep. I got full Machana in now. In football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Pretty good job of running. Where the hell? Look at Malzadi. Look at Malzadi. Thank you. Ooh, what a tip. What a tip. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. The hand to the running back. Facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it rolled to the ground incomplete. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and forced the incompletion. Gets the first Thank you. Thank you. There, he ought to be fresh. They only used him twice in that victory last week. They make the stop, but there is a penalty. Thank you. Down. Let's see what's going on. Looking the kicker. Defense, defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. So the offense keeps this drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Give to the back. Why is this why is this thing in the game? And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Wide open on the move. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good juke. Let's go. Come on, that's a pretty good job by this defense. Man, it's so hard to limit these quarterbacks. And they're spreading you out all over the field. When they take off, it's hard to limit the damage. Nice job limiting the damage. And I tell you what, make it physical. Finish those plays and try to tackle that guy and make him think about running the football in the future. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. They got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? Damn. off from the gun. No, he just flat ran over it. They'll get him stopped at the 34. He's got 10 yards on that one and a first down. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. 
just inside the 35, first and 10 from the 34. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. You want your quarterback job back? Now the play fake. You better hoop. That's all I got to tell you. Flips it out in the flat. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. They line up. <laughs> quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Quickly to the tight end. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's Ooh. on the same page for this big Ooh, down. And they're going to head out the lineup for a field goal. And they'll kick it from the left side, a 44-yard try. And it's let's right go. down the boulevard. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin, gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting let's go. football game. Arizona looks like five miles of bad road today. Offensively, the wheels have come off. Defensively, it's been one pothole after another. They're trailing by 14 to Texas Tech. Any big developments in this one? drive and let it rip lost one deep down the right side mm. how about that db getting a hand in there and forcing the they got us surrounded DB surrounded what's you looking at here no pi able to swat it away passing complete to the air it's pumachan pressure coming and he was hit just as he released it and it falls to the turf if i can get the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time. Getting I know. Almost immediately after I had no shot. Ball. I had no shot. You know that. You know that. You know that, Jesse Palmer. You know that. This one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Got him. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I feel like we should go for it, though. Nah, we shouldn't actually. UMass will line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. First one's on its way. The leg ought to be strong. Only called on twice in the victory. There we go. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Running back searching for a hole. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Off to the home back. Paradise. He has enough to move the chains. It'll be a first down, UMass. And I know it's not sexy, but those little runs just keep you on your heels, keep the sticks moving, making you understand, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be patient. A lot of offenses aren't patient. They get too play, big play happy, wanting to force the ball down the field. This offense is staying nice and patient right now. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They got fleet flickers in here. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. I need to practice on those. Oh, man. 
Okay. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. On the run, it's Fumachan. Getting some heat. Now adjusting. He is good shit, good shit. What a job to find some running room and move the chains. UMass getting set to snap it on first and ten. Look at RB. Because that's what I'm looking at. He's looking to throw it. Woo! Almost picked if I didn't like control that. Was a good route, but it was the hit that forced that incompletion. They'll try the run. Why is Paradise not running this ball, bro? If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn. Watch out for that blitz. The there we go. Look at that blitz. The they coming. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end. Throws a strike. Gets the first down. He's looking to throw. He's got the tight end. Strikes the blow. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. That's what tight ends are supposed to do. Just have people bouncing off them like spitballs off a battleship. And when you're a defense, you gotta understand we gotta swarm to the football because these ah. guys they break tackles and they can get loose if we're not tackling with multiple guys. Nice effort by the big fella. And after the really good gain on first down, they'll try to finish it off on second and goal. There we go. Sometimes we ask coaches about halftime adjustments and they go blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes they make some good ones. <laughs> sometimes that blah, 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 blah actually works, but it's working now. But it might be too little too late, but at least you got the party started. Let's go. There we go. Get five yards on that. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. They go to the ground. He's down in the back. job against the running back that you saw last week man he can go off he can make big plays he can chew some yardage up and keep an offense on schedule nice job by this defense locking in and shutting down the run game so far back to pass it's Pumachan. oh he's wide open caught it receiver because usually receiver makes the play and Makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting the hand. Wow. Tipping that ball. <laughs> I thought that was it. Great vision. Uses all of that to get Hell yeah. You don't tackle a big bat. Maybe we should just run the pistol. Just keep it simple. You better be flying to the football. Everybody grabbing on, holding on for dear life until your teammates get there. Big backs like 
like this are just hard to get off the ground. Looks as if he has enough to move the chains. It'll be a first. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he got Damn, he took a hit. He took a hit. He took a hit. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Dropping back, it's Pumachan. A little screen to the running back. There we go. Makes the grab and it's enough for the first down. There we go. That's the end of the quarter, and Northern Illinois has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They're going to run it to the right. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Throws for the tight end. This play always works. Got him. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. Just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Looking to go up top on first down. Dumps it off in the flats. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Love the awareness by the defense here. They're trying to get the running back the ball in space, but the defense was expecting it. They had guys in position. They located the football, and they went and game time. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Looking to pass. It's Puma. Let's it fly deep downfield. Damn. And his throw is incomplete. X dagger, X dagger, X dagger. Ooh, Mazzotti. On the streak, maybe potentially. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Caught it. Let's go. Makes a catch with defenders everywhere, and now the defense backed up with a first and goal from the five. So now the opportunity with a touchdown to take the lead. A first down run on the doorstep. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. You know, it's funny. I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game, but when you think about it, this guy's been making people miss his entire life taking handoffs. So why wouldn't you try to get him involved in the passing game as well? You just saw in that last play how dangerous he is after the catch. They'll run it got him. What a comeback. They've got the lead here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game.
Let's go. Great start, boys. Let's do the money play. This always works. I think it's broken, but we're going to try it. But I don't know if I have enough space. We're going to try it. Throw it out. trying to hit a home run you don't need the big play right now now you know third down everything's on the table everything's available high success rate here they come trying to convert a third and short from the 28 looking downfield it's Fumachan. they're setting up the screen good tackle they All right. stop him short of the first down it'll bring up a big decision umass will line up to punt it away he just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding. Great job, boys. All right, I'm, I'm going to bring it home for us. I screwed up by kind of passing it there, but. Trip. You've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you, right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. Not bad. Just really nice catch by the big tight end. Throwing those mitts up there, catching the football. Get to the two-minute warning. Actually, you know what? Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. The play-action fake. Moving away from pressure. Trying to make magic with his... Got it. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. this offense with a fresh set of downs it was 16 and nothing to give to the lone running back that's what you expect from a senior don't give them any extra yards great tackle there defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. They'll run it from the gun. And the Just go, go to the middle. Go to the middle. A very short game. Quick timeout call I'm not even trying to get a first down right now. I just want to get to the middle. So I can get this feel, easy field goal. I want it down the middle. A third and long coming up 56 here. yarder. I want it down the middle. They'll leave it with him. All right, right there. He's not gonna get there. The defense stands tall and makes the This is risky though, because he be mid oh he can make this. Stop. He can make this. Save as much time as possible. He can make this, dude.
Alabama. We'll circle back if anything big happens. You need to know. No way. No fucking way. One deep down the left side. And that will be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one. <laughs> That's literally unreal. Oh, it's wide open. <laughs> it was wide open. Oh, right, I'm just so horny for that for that deep ball. Fuck it. I thought we had the game one. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the return man reaches the end. Touchdown wins it. Because we're going to make the extra point. We'd be four and two if we beat Buffalo in that overtime game. Damn, my job security is low. Fuck, I do.
Great win. Woo! Our first commitment, Travis Hodell from Mattapan, the one-star tight end. Travis Hodell, you are my first ever commit in CFV 25. Congrats. Here we go. Missouri versus UMass. I'm going to go with Foma Chan here. Ohio State, Oregon, Florida, Tennessee, Penn State, USC, Stanford, Notre Dame. It's a good, good lineup. Good lineup. Alabama lost. Oh, yeah, Georgia. Okay. How's Notre Dame's playbook looking? What if we just run the pistol? <laughs> 